let's do some unboxing while I'm here. Why not? I saw something in here, guys, that got me excited. Oh, oh, oh. is that getting in the camera? Do you see that? Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. Do you see that? Vintage Victoria's Secret, guys. That's some money right here. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Oh, oh. What's this? Oh, do you see that? Oh, what? That's got stuff in it. That's got stuff in it. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this 10 by 15 locker at the storage auction because it was reported that the prior owner had passed away. I took a chance at $800, which wasn't too bad considering the lady had died. The locker has had a few small surprises so far, but the real surprise was when another bidder said on a hot mic that he had bid me up and made me pay for this locker. Say what? Well, let's see how this thing turns out. I go back to clear the unit out, and then it's time to start digging. All right, what's up, locker nuts? We are back. It's been two days. This is Wednesday. Back at the unit, and uh, I've got a plan. All right. Uh, I don't think this is gonna take too long. Oh, that dog, he's very obedient. He's set. <laughs> when I left him here, I said, stay, sit. Good boy, that's the kind of dog I like, actually. So, um, yeah, that's what we got, see? Back there, not too terribly much. We do have a couch right here. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. But um, I've got my trailer. I'm not going to be filming this. I'm just going to load it and then hit the road. My plan is to bring all this back. Seems silly, but I'm going to bring it all back to my storage unit and unload it and wait till the next time I go to the flea market. It would make sense maybe to go to the flea market tomorrow, but there's auctions tomorrow and Friday. So maybe we'll hit the flea market on Saturday. I don't really know. I don't really care. I don't want to commit to it. So right now, it's just about getting this one empty because today my time is up. It's 48 hours. And uh, it shouldn't be too bad. This should go pretty quick. I'm going to get to it. Now, it's going to be kind of loud out here because of the, the freeway right there. But um, got these pieces out here in, in the light, a little bit better light. This actually looks pretty nice. It would be nice if that was a famous artist right there. But they sure did a fancy frame. So I don't know. Maybe that's something. It doesn't look nice to me. But art very often doesn't look nice to me what do i know uh this piece this is pretty cool because it's a san francisco you got alcatraz in the background there you see that and all the sailboats in the bay um this also i don't know there's the artist signature right there it'd be nice if one of these was worth something that's a pain right there by yourself very difficult two people difficult in the corners getting it down out the, the low doorway and then down the corners turn 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 but uh because of this extended thing here i put one side on there i get on the other side i lift it up that tilts the cart back just a little bit which enables the wheels to roll smooth that's how we do it guys if there's a second person here i probably just tell them to film the whole thing so you can see how i do it can be done solo don't knock it till you try it at least it's not paying someone to help me Whew. see that I snapped my fingers and it's gone boom magic just kidding it's that's the magic of filmmaking uh movie making right Ooh, movie making magic that sounds good actually nah actually it wasn't that exciting I just loaded it up took it to my unit unloaded it Came back here, I got this one piece, I'm bringing that home. So I'm gonna try to list that and sell it for a hundred bucks, why not? Get a little bit of the money back, super quick. And my dolly, all right, bring that home, that's it. And then I'm going home, I'm super tired. So uh, we're having our carpeting replaced upstairs in our home. So it's been really stressful and hectic uh, because we had to move all our furniture, empty all our drawers and the dressers. Not move the furniture, but just empty everything so the movers could move it easier. They move everything from one bedroom to another, do the flooring, bring it all in there, blah, 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 back and forth. 
and then um but it was a lot of work in preparing and eh, it's just not fun it's not a fun part home remodeling is very stressful and i went i just stopped by home and there's pound 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 but it looks like they're doing a great job and uh anyways anyways i was happy to be gone today <laughs> All right, locker nuts. Do you see this right here? This space right there, previously occupied by the couch. That's right. I sold the couch, hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. It was actually a really nice couch. Very contemporary. The light gray is the color you want right now. Very nice couple. Military stationed right in the next town over, and uh, they just got re uh, whatever. They got moved to here, and so looking for some furniture. Uh, very nice. Very nice. So they were happy with it, and. Um, I pulled these boxes out just to give a little space so they could sit in it and get a better look at it, uh, which they were happy with. And uh, while I was waiting for them, I, I peeked in this box right here. We already looked in this box, I think. I don't know, I just see hangers and clothes. But while they were in there busy, I was just like, hey, let me just open this. I saw something in here, guys, that got me excited. So guess what? Let's do some unboxing while I'm here. Why not? All right. Brought this stuff in here to get out of the sun. The sun is pretty wicked right now for some reason. It just feels very bright and very hot. Okay, so oh, bottom's falling out of this. That's not good. Okay, there was a little bit of tape here, but the tape was pulled back. That's what made me think I already went. I already peeked. I already peeked in this one. I could swear, unless there's another one that looks just like it. it. Had a bunch of hangers and uh clothes right on top hmm jones new york all right hopefully she got some better stuff okay wish i had an empty box so i could just pull it out and put an empty box you know what i'm saying that would be better we do have some totes empty totes i think everything up on the top here is empty that'll work okay That will definitely work. Okay, because then I can take this part right there. That's cooking with heat. I hate hangers so much. Okay. Okay. Those right there. This is kind of silky. Vanity Fair. Look at that. Vintage nightgown or nightshirt or whatever. This kind of stuff actually does sell. We do have some experience in that department. If you guys haven't seen our train videos, you'll see that we picked up quite a bit of vintage lingerie and underwears and stuff. Uh, that was a great unit. Those are not great shoes. They are leather though. Inside are a little worn. Hmm. Cotton. Alright, that's this. No brand. Okay. Look at this. Do you see that right there? Do you see? Oh, ooh. There's a lot of them. Oh my goodness, you guys. Do you see that? That's what I saw when I peeked in here. Okay. These are dollar coins, right? Dollar coins. What do you got here? I'm trying to see if it says Danbury Mint. Hey, what? Danbury Mint. These aren't just dollar coins. Uncirculated. Presidential dollars. Okay, how many is in here? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Twelve? That's kind of an odd number, but there's a that's a dollar coin right there. For sure. The presidential ones, I don't know, but I hadn't seen those before. Dollar coins, 12 each. There's 36 bucks. Okay, there's more. There's another 12. And there's a single. Yeah, that's a dollar. So what's that? 48, 49 bucks right there. This is not... 49 bucks is exciting. Finding cash in a box is exciting. 
What's even more exciting is honestly, I thought these boxes might all be just be closed and that's depressing. That's not exciting. That is, uh, that is not what I buy lockers for, clothes. But it, the fact that coins are in here, guys, this has not been picked through. Who would leave coins like that? Who would leave dollar coins in a unit? Who would leave that? Oh, oh, oh. is that getting in the camera? Do you see that? Ooh, yes. Oh, that's sweet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's another eight. Well, we have 49. Now we got $57. That's awesome. All right, little. Oh, Victor. Oh, yes. Vintage Victoria's Secret, guys. That's some money right here. <laughs> That's some money right here. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay, what's this? Oh, yes. More Vintage Victoria's Secret. Heck yeah. This sells good. This is There's good resale on this stuff. Okay, I'm not getting excited because I got a thing for women's lingerie okay uh, don't get the wrong idea about me i get excited because i know this is some decent money val mode lingerie made in the usa and i think this is probably vintage too it just has a feel it has that feel there's a matching it's a little nighty and a shirt to go over it i don't know what you call it okay uh, oh, jeez, look at this. Um, guys, this is turning out to be pretty dang good. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, robe. There's an Ugh robe. It's a little dirty. See a little dirt right there. It's not super clean, but Ugh robe. That's decent. That is decent. Richard Evans, huh? Mm -hmm. There's another coin. Got another coin. Oh, look at that. See that? Right there. What's that? Oh, yes. What is this? One, what is this? A half dollar, but what is this thing? NASDAQ. What are these things? Sacagawea dollar coins. What is this thing about? Is this like a some kind of certification or something? That's pretty cool. And then I see a little bit more coinage right here. Heck yes, another 13 bucks. <laughs> ah. Crazy Horse, a Liz Claiborne company. GV Jeans. Okay. This sport can't let it turn it out. I don't want to be here all day. Oh, I see more coins. Yes. Yes, sir. Another, another $13. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these coins. Oh, I see more coins. Yes, Victoria's Secret. Yes, that's the same as money right there. Sort of. Coin. Coin. Ooh, what's oh, what's this? <laughs> this is heavy. It looks like coins, right? <clears throat> oh, yes. Oh, I'm just thinking back to how Rodney running his stupid mouth saying, I bid him up. I made sure to bid him up. Yeah, okay, dude, you really bid me up. 800 bucks on a deceased owner locker. Congratulations. One ounce of fine silver. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. This is insane. This is insane. This is all ounces of silver right here. Right? Whew. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 10, 12, 14, 15, 20 ounces of silver right here. 
That's 20 ounces of silver. <laughs> 20 ounces of silver. This is getting better. This is getting better. Oh, my hands are shaking a little bit. It's really exciting, guys. Get your adrenaline going when you find good stuff. Good stuff. That is awesome. I don't, I haven't found that many of these kinds of coins before. 20 coins, 20 silver, 20 ounces of silver right here. That's awesome. That's incredible. All right. Oh. Mm, I think that's a knife. Got excited when I saw boxes, but I see another coin. We're still going. We're still going. Here's an old like bomber jacket or something. It's leather, but it's mm, you know what? Maybe I should check the pockets. Maybe who knows, right? No, nothing. Fork thermometer, knife. Oh, please be cut, Co. Please let, let me not cut myself. Mm -mm. I don't know what that is. It's probably nothing. Super stuff, huh? Why do they need so many knives? I feel like maybe she sold knives or something. What's this? Oh, they had a lot of silverware too. Cutlery. Onita. Okay. See that right there? Hmm. Our Rose is the brand. Yeah, what's this? Old Navy. It's nothing. And there's another coin. I love saying that. Here's another coin. Here's another coin. 32 degrees. These are decent. I think they sell those at uh, Costco. That's a little dirty though. 32 degrees, another one. Laurel Alexander. Okay. Caslon. It's a silk, I think. <laughs> I still can't believe I found coins in here. Totally not expecting. Oh yes. Oh, there's another 24 bucks right there. Mm -hmm. There's Claiborne. Nice. Let's see if there's any pockets? Nope. Just gotta get to the bottom of this. All right. That was that. They just didn't do a very good job of uh, taping the bottom. Okay, I'll have to retape that, get it nice and secure, and uh, then I can fill it back up again. Ooh, guys, that was nice right there. That was nice. I'm very happy with that. Okay, I was gonna do just one box, uh, but yeah, I don't feel like. Stopping now. Oh, okay. So this is the other box that we started going through, and uh, I think I got that on camera. There's a Toshiba in here. Tub Toshiba, Lapatapa. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna bring that home right now. Uh, well, you know, when I go home, not right now. I'm not gonna just jump in my car and leave. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring it home and. Uh, Take a look at that a little bit closer, see if it's got any value. Oops, get that on the camera here. Uh, oh yeah, the stocking. Ooh, we have things that are wanting to settle in here. And that is very unsettling. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, the cow hat's pretty good. The rest of them are pretty not. This is a nice big fat box to go to charity right there. Or maybe the flea market, but more likely charity. There, okay, where's the coins? Where's the coins? Where's the rolls of coins? Let's see. I don't think we saw any in this box, but oh, uh, you know what? I think we did actually go to the bottom of it, too uh, One of these boxes I definitely did dig down into Okay, is this stuff worth anything? 
all this lace work and afghans and whatever you call them crochet loop de loop I don't know what you call it just uh that worth anything I know that lace work takes forever tablecloth okay well that one wasn't so exciting <laughs> all right well, let's get another one why not next box this one's not so full we got here shoulder pads where's the brand well, it's not Versace I know that much okay Jones New York see that Stuff looks like some of this, at least some of it's been dry clean. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Jones, New York, okay. Is that worth anything, guys? Jones, New York. Hmm. Jones, New York. Jones, New York, okay. She definitely liked her Jones, New York. Jones, New York. Jones, New York. <laughs> All right, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Okay, Jones, New York. This looks like that other piece. It's like the same print. I mean, this is a matching piece. This is Austin. Look at this. Austin Reed. All right, 100% silk. It's nice stuff. I just don't think it's in style. All right, guys, I'm not seeing the Versace cord in this one like I did in the last deceased owner locker. But I still got to get to the bottom of this because who knows? There might be more coins down here. This Claiborne. This is kind of nice, actually. Let's see what this is. Calvin Klein. There's a nice looking coat. Jones, New York. That's brand new. I'm not seeing the coins in this one either. Kirkland. I can see. No coins. Vince Camuto. Not bad, but not good either. Just okay. Okay, this one right here, the top is pushed in only because of the weight of the top box, the box that was on top of it. Um, I didn't open this one. I haven't looked in it yet. So let's see. Uh, yeah, when you when you load boxes like this, you really need to film to the top or else they'll get crushed down by the ones on top. Kirkland stuff, Nordstrom. Decent, more decent stuff. This Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. That's funny. <laughs> Jones, New York jeans. Look at that. It's pretty funny. Like a jean suit. A lot of Jones, Jones, New York. A lot of Liz Claiborne. Some decent stuff, but not that exciting. All right, two more. Let's do it. <laughs> Got one good one, and then we had four or three uh, that were pretty much exactly what I expected. Boring. So one good one though. That's all I need. Uh, we got one more good one. What do you think? What do you think? What are our odds? Hmm. All right, that one's sealed up, and this one's this stack feels heavy. That's not very full, though. What is that, though? What do we got here? Kind of base. All right. Pennies. Wow. Look at the tag. That's super old. Could this really be that old? It could be. Look at the buttonholes are all kind of torn out just from repeated use. Check the pockets. 
That's not right. <laughs> we got it. Gloves. Any pockets inside? No. That's a nice jacket. What's this? Oh, jeez, what the heck? It's a vase. There's like flower petals or something in there. Not that exciting. Probably put dried flowers in it. That's why there's dried flower stuff coming out. Fortunately, it came out over this. Okay. Lavender robe. Okay. Some more vintage sleepwear, just not the sexy kind. I don't know if there's a market for that. Another big blanket. Hmm. We got Santa. Alright, he's kind of cartoony looking. Fun Santa. That'll sell. Got a little brush set. I don't know if that'll sell. Oh, what do we got here? Okay. Patrick James West Coast Classic. I'm thinking fragrance. Alright. Huh. Not what I thought. What do we got here? A little baby book. Baby, baby, baby. A little baby stuff. Baby, baby, baby. Boring. Alright. Get that back to the family. Or to the office, anyways. They'll be in charge of getting it back to the family. That's above my pay grade. Some little towels here. And sheets. All right, this is our last big box, but we still have some smaller boxes, so. Okay, this is a little more mixed. What do we got here? Right, books. Okay, here's the old recipes right here. That's cool. Put that in ephemeral lot. Sell it at our auction. Ooh, ooh. What's this? Oh. Hold the presses. Hold it up now. What do we got here? Swiss Swiss gold. Fine gold. 0.999 pure it says. Looks like it's meant to put a little tiny photo right there. 0.999 is 24k. And I know that because we just found a 24k bracelet. Now I think this is going to be pure gold if it's correct. But this probably not. Uh, but I'll have to check it with my loop. A loop de loop. I don't really. I can't really make it out. It says something on there. But um, yeah, that's not bad. Hey, if this is, if this is uh, what it says it is, 24k basically, pure gold. That's probably at least 50 bucks right there, just for that little tiny piece. That's got to be at least a gram. It might be more. Hmm. Okay. The Household Searchlight Recipe Book. This is some very old recipe books here. This is turning out to be a nice little locker, guys. The New Cookbook. I can lock these cookbooks up and sell them. There's a market for that. They are very collectible, some of them. Okay. The Fanny Farmer Cookbook. Hmm, that's an interesting title. There's more vintage recipes. I don't know. Oh, how did I not see that guy right there? Okay. That's an upside down for some reason. Okay, that is pretty. Are those real? Could be white gold, it could be silver. It could be silver with cubic zirconians, or it could be white gold with some real diamonds. If those are real diamonds, those are some big honking diamonds. Huh. Okay. That's good. <coughs> what is this? The clever cutter. Oh, 
Oh. Did you see that? Do you see that? Oh, what? That's got stuff in it. That's got stuff in it. Okay, that's got stuff in it. Oh. The, <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, guys. 14 karat gold? Nah, this is for earrings or something. This is a pendant probably before. What the heck? There's a little pendant in there. Okay, I'm not doing this here. I've already done too much. I'm worried I'm going to drop something in the box. Yeah, I'm stinking. Paper bag is where I find the jewelry. Can you believe that? Guys, that is fantastic right there. Fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay, what's this? Anything special? A little bit of weights. <clears throat> okay. Actually, these these actually sell. Hmm. I think I'm gonna bring that jewelry home and go through it there. Sheet sets, okay. <laughs> Brand new kitchen towels and pot holders. Window treatments, brand new, night light, more sheets, that's not bad. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, man. thought maybe that was some jewelry boxes. Okay. Yeah, those are actually pretty. Those are really nice. Very nice. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a huge sand doll right there. Huge. Okay. There's still some more random stuff in here. It seems like it's bathroom stuff. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sweaty. I gotta move all these towels because there's one little jewelry box that came down the bottom. I do not want to miss it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Come on, jewelry box. Hiding on the bottom. Let's go. Come on. I found a paper bag full of jewelry. Anything's possible. But it's not here. <laughs> Alright, well. No complaints from me, guys. No complaints from me. This this is potentially I, I don't even want to say this is our money back right here. This could be far greater than that. I don't know because I don't even know what's in here yet. Uh, Alright, wait till I get home. Come on, stop Jack. Stop touching. Can't help it. Woo that is amazing right there. A Rayleigh's bag. <laughs> well, these boxes definitely weren't closed. Just closed. There are much, much more. Alright guys, is that not exciting? Really? I, I had peeked in the boxes, even telling other people, like, how that locker turned out. I said, well, I didn't go through it all, but I peeked, and what I did see wasn't all that good. You know, we found that, we did find a little bit of, little tiny gold hoop earring. We found um, a couple rings that won silver, sterling silver with turquoise. That is nice. And then we found, of course, the Gucci watch, right? That was a surprise, but, um, and that was in a moldy box, too. A mildewed box, like, should have been probably thrown out. I can't believe that stuff's in there. But the clothes boxes I peeked in, and I had written those off to be old clothes, really old. They do smell a little musty, too. They're old clothes. They probably haven't been sitting around in a closet for years, and who knows how long in the storage. Guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you for going on this adventure with me. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed that. This is exciting. And you know what? I'm going to take that jewelry home. We'll start the next video out with that. Um, I'm going to wrap this one up. We already found all the coins. The silver coins especially, 20 ounces in silver. I'm not selling that. That's going to stay with me. Um, I do believe you need to have a little bit invested in uh, fine metals, uh, precious metals, and I don't. I've been selling most of what we find. I think I'm going to change that. I'm going to start keeping some of this stuff. And I'm going to start with those coins and uh, some of the gold that we've been finding. 
It's good stuff, guys. I hope that bag's got some more goodies and more surprises for us, but you'll find out in the next episode, right? Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, guys. It's time to get to this. Oh, this is going to be fun. Look at all this.